Do you remember your first grade teacher? Mine was Mrs. Mayer. She taught me at Alamo Elementary School in San Francisco's Richmond neighborhood. From my start in Mrs. Mayer's class to finishing high school, public schools led me to grow into a happy, capable adult. Public schools supported me as a kid, developing a love for reading. Teachers backed me when I came out of the closet as a gay man. Counselors led me to new adventures by guiding me to colleges outside of California. My advocates and schools shaped my life. When I finished university, I taught high school economics and history in Philadelphia high schools. At the same time, I began studying education policy at the University of Pennsylvania's Graduate School of Education. And here is what I discovered. Academic outcomes for low-income kids have not changed in a century. Public schools remain a realm of inequality, unable to make up for the long-term effects of poverty, racism, and other deeply rooted injustices. Decide for yourself. Across our 136 schools, only 50% of students scored proficient on the state's official math test. For English, only 53% scored proficient or above on the state's official test. Half of San Francisco students are not meeting California's own standards for what a student should know by the time they go to college. Fixing these issues is complicated, and I wanna be blunt. These are not problems that a parent or aspiring politician or concerned neighbor are equipped to fix. I want you to vote for a Board of Education member with a track record in public education solutions. That's me. I have over a decade of experience breaking barriers in public education. In San Francisco, I founded a financial education nonprofit to combat the student loan crisis. In my career, I've mentored high school students to become entrepreneurs who designed a new kind of solar panel. I worked for the College Board to bring STEM coaching to minorities in Brooklyn who were gearing up to take the SAT. I developed a curriculum for first grade students to learn how to build robots. I ran a youth leadership lab in Singapore. I am an innovative candidate and I will think outside of the box for our students. I believe that we can change schools by coming together as a community around three core issues. The first is the school lottery. The school assignment process is overly complex and after eight years, it's done little to diversify schools. Let's come together as a community to develop a school lottery, lottery that balances the distance a student has to travel to get to school and access to an excellent education. Second, we have to make San Francisco a city that not only retains, but also attracts top teaching talent. Recently, we passed a proposition to raise teacher pay, but the reality is that the raises don't even beat the annual rate of inflation. But we've made some innovative moves, like building affordable housing specifically for teachers. So let's continue to raise teacher pay so that teachers can actually afford to live in San Francisco and continue developing innovative benefits that attract teachers to this awesome city. Finally, let's invest in the future by laying the groundwork to transform more public high schools into top performers. Did you know that Lowell ranks as the 11th best high school in California? The problem is that right now, there are more students qualified to attend our top high schools than spots, and this doesn't make any sense. If we're doing it at Lowell, then we can transform more high schools to be top performers. We have to rally as a community to demand San Francisco creates the resources to lead this transformation. I'm proud of the work that I've done for San Francisco students. Help me continue with your vote on November 6. There are great ideas in San Francisco, and if we work collaboratively for students, we can make change.